through a guardian angel at the right place at exactly the right time rushes into the street to stop a runaway stroller on a perilous path with a baby on board. Video of the heart stopping close call in Hesperia has gone viral and tonight the Good Samaritan is being credited with likely saving a little boy's life. John Finolio live in Hesperia where he spoke with the unexpected hero tonight. John. Cher and Micah, that's right. This was a close call and it happened right here at this car wash. A woman forgets to lock the wheels on her baby's stroller before a strong gust of wind sends it sailing through this parking lot and towards a busy road. It could have ended in tragedy had it not been for a quick thinking ex-con who jumped into action. A gut-wrenching moment as a stroller with a baby boy strapped in begins rolling down a driveway and towards heavy traffic. The child's great aunt tries to run after him, but stumbles and falls. I start hearing the lady screaming, and she's fall, she already had fallen down. Ronald Nesman was at the A1 car wash on Bear Valley Road Monday when he heard cries for help, then saw a horrifying scene unfolding. And I see a, a baby stroller start, you know, getting blown by the wind, and... Before I knew it, I take off after it and the wind was blowing it so fast. High desert wind gusts pushed the stroller towards the busy road. But just as it was seconds away from rolling into traffic, Ron dashes in and grabs the handle. What's going through your mind when you see this runaway stroller heading towards the road? Uh, you know, it's like you don't have time to think. You just go like you got to get it. You know, you got to get it. So I got it. Ron happened to be there at the time because he'd just come from a job interview for a dishwashing position at a nearby Applebee's. Right place, right time. That's all there is to it. Right place, right time. And I was, you know, assessed it and, and just did it. He's been living with his sister for the last several months. Prior to that, this former truck driver says he fell on hard times and was homeless for about eight years, due in part to suffering from depression following the sudden death of his longtime girlfriend. The situation, I wish it wouldn't have happened at all just because of the, the people that were involved, that poor lady. But, you know, um, I'm thankful. I'm very thankful today for everybody. And from this surveillance video, you can see the baby's aunt is thankful for Ron as she leans in and hugs him. Ron says he was just trying to do the right thing. And it appears what comes around goes around. You believe in karma? Do I believe in karma? Um, I guess to an extent, yeah, I think so. Good things come to people, you know what I mean? Yes, they do. Oh, you have a good night. Thank you. Thank you again. Remember how we told you Ron had just come from an interview at Applebee's before he jumped into action? Well, our cameras were rolling when he got a call earlier this evening. Thank you very much. Well, I got the job at Applebee's. All right. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Thank you, people. I appreciate everything, guys. Ron tells us he's excited to start his new job, especially because he can easily take a bus near his home to get there. He says he's hoping he can save enough money to eventually buy a used car so he can take on more work farther away. As for the baby and his elderly aunt, they are fine tonight, albeit a little shaken up. A good reminder to always lock those strollers. We're live in Hesperia. I'm John Finolio, KTLA 5 News. Good fortune. John, thank you.